Welcome back to No Nonsense Reviews and How To's, Hacking the Nintendo Wii Part 20. Today I'm going to show you how to add SNES covers and cheats, so let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to this website that's in the description below and make sure you have the most up-to-date version of SNES 9XGX. So we're going to download it and we're also going to download this cheat files folder. So once we have those downloaded, we're going to want to extract them, of course. And you can delete any uh, readme txt files that come up. You don't need them. So my SD card that goes in my Wii, I have it in my computer now. And I'm just going to drag over this SNEX, SNES 9XGX into my apps folder. It's going to ask me if I want to replace these four files. Yes, I do. Because again, I'm putting the most up-to-date version. And I actually don't need this one here that's in the root of my SD card. Uh, because I already have what I want uh, from the previous install. So I can just delete all of these now. So let's uh, extract the cheats file now. And here are all the cheats. So we're going to do a cheat for Street Fighter 2. So let's find it. There it is, Street Fighter 2 Turbo. And we're just going to drag this into the cheats folder on our SD card. There it is. Let's go look at the ROM because the ROM name needs to be the same as the cheat file name. And in this case, it isn't, so we're going to end up changing the cheat file name. So we're going to copy the name of this game. We're going to go back to our cheat file and paste the name over. So now they are identical. And now let's work on our covers. So the covers actually go into the screenshots folder that you should have already. If you don't have one, create one, call it screenshots. So I have some cover art here. I'm going to drag it over into the screenshots folder, but again, it has to have the exact same name as the cheat and as the ROM. So let's copy the name and let's paste it here. So now they are all the same. Once we've done that, we can head over to the Wii. Back at the Wii, let's go into SNES 9X GX, press start, and as you can see, there it is with the cover art, I go to other game, it doesn't have cover art, so this one clearly worked. Let's start the game and let's see if the cheat worked. So you want to press home on your Wii controller, go into game settings, go into cheats, and you can turn any of these on that you want. So I'm going to turn on one that gives me infinite time. So let's find that one. There it is. Let's turn that on. And then you can just go to go back. Close this. And let's start the game. So the game's starting up. I have 99 seconds and it's staying at 99 seconds. So I have infinite time. Now there's a bunch of cheats you can choose for any of the games, but just wanted to show you how it works. So thanks for watching.